sometimes you just need a little break and you need to get out of the city. So my daughter and I hopped in our car. We're located right outside of Detroit, Michigan, and we had it about three and a half, four hours north of Michigan to the area of Oscoda. We wanted some beach time. We wanted some time to collect rocks. But my daughter even found a few Petoskey stones, which are the state rock of Michigan and also cool old fossils. But more importantly, we wanted some time to go to some of our favorite thrift stores. Of course, before a good thrifting adventure, it's always important to make sure you have a full belly. So we stopped at one of our favorite restaurants, the Bavarian Bakery in Oscoda, Michigan. And we had breakfast slash lunch and also loaded up on some goodies for the rest of the day. Then it was time to get thrifting. The first store we visited was the Goodwill Oscoda, and it is just a few doors down from the bakery. I grabbed my cart and I was anxious to get shopping and to see how prices were in this area. You never really can tell, but usually prices in northern Michigan are a little cheaper than down by me. I liked this piece. It was $2.99, and then I spotted candlesticks brass for $1.99. These were going home with me. Really good price. Stay tuned to the end of the video to see all of the treasures I found. I love to see that their shelves were stocked. And I found this really cool hand carved piece. It was a pitcher with matching cups. Unfortunately though, there was damage. That musical instrument in the back was really cool at $3.99. There were no strings and I really had no idea what it was used for. It was old and for the price it would have been really cool. One of the things I just passed on because I couldn't figure it out. If you know what it is, comment in the description box below. It seems like vintage prints are getting harder to find. She was really pretty, loved the frame. There was a lot of furniture here, and when I'm on a road trip, I'm always hesitant to load up my car with furniture at the very first thrift store. I did like the bench, it did need cleaning, and these mid-century chairs really don't look it, but they were a little bit dirtier in person and I just wasn't sure. The tables were amazing. I would have probably picked them up if the price was lower, but pretty much there wouldn't have been much profit and it would have filled up my car. Another beautiful piece, a mini china cabinet for only $49.99. I kind of love partially finished craft projects. I mean, I could have so easily grabbed these, finished them and put them in my booth. I hemmed and hawed about it. Uh, not really my style, but I could have done something cute. I just didn't want more projects. $2.99 each though. You can't even get the wood for that cheap. My daughter brought these books to me. She told me she found them side by side on a bookshelf at the thrift store and was laughing so hard about it. Obviously, someone had a good sense of humor. Oh, the dishes they had here were so good and such amazing prices for an entire box. This next set is Ironstone, full set of eight for only $9.99. Just good stuff. Has to be pretty good though because I have a lot of dishes right now to sell. I even spotted a bundle of restaurant wear platters for $2.99. The next place was just south a bit, and it was a new to us thrift store. I'm not sure how long it has been in Oscoda, but we never knew it existed. It is a charity thrift store, and it has about two large rooms. 
there were lots of items and prices were good. It did remind me more of a consignment store. There were also a lot of really good uh, clothing items too in the front that were well organized and they did have fitting rooms. Up next was the Salvation Army Thrift Store, and that was in East Towis, Michigan. And it is a great store. We found a lot of good treasures over the years here. I highly recommend you check it out. I grabbed my cart and started shopping. I usually head to the back for furniture and home goods. I saw some hand-painted windows. These were really cute, even though a little pricey. I was also really excited to find these throws. Unfortunately, they were a little worn, but these always sell really well for me, and I cannot find them in my area. Also check out this DeWalt tool. You don't see these very often. Looks like an old shop tool. Loved the color on it. And when I got to Home Goods, we had more dishes. Don't forget to always check the carts for stocking. You guys know in my last thrift haul, I found such a treasure. If you haven't seen the video, I'll put a link here. This thrift store did not disappoint with the vintage items. I loved this expanding trivet, and I just loved the cool details too. And because we're located right by one of the Great Lakes, there's always a nautical theme to a lot of the items that you can find. They also had a whole collection of these Sebastian miniatures. I'm not familiar with them, but there were a whole bunch of characters. They were just really small for $3.99, and since I was not familiar with them, I decided to leave them. If I missed out on something, comment down below. They also had depression glass. I've never seen them put together with shipping tape. These were three pieces, but you could hardly tell what the pieces underneath looked like. And if you're in the area, downtown East Tawas is a lot of fun to shop and visit. Make sure to also check out the chocolate shop and the Ben Franklin. The next thrift store we visited was from St. John's Church. It has two buildings. One of the buildings has more furniture, which of course we went to first. It was packed to the gills. And if you had a cabin, this was the place I would check. The prices are a little high for resale, but they do have a lot of really cool pieces. While we were there, there was a woman and her son looking at the most beautiful early American double bed. I'm not sure of the price, but it was a beautiful piece and she was putting it in her cabin. There's also a lot of fun stuff to hunt through and even items that you would normally find like at a hardware center. There was lots of cool hardware too for pieces and they were priced well. And of course they had a nice selection of lamps, although I don't know, this one was a little creepy for me. In the other building across the way, they have more home goods, clothing, and books. They have a great selection of clothes. They even have a separate plus section, which is nice. Didn't see a lot of vintage items today. We really looked, and I just was not finding them, but they had a lot of day-to-day -day items at really good prices. And this chair was in perfect condition for $50. My daughter always looks in the book section first, and these were extremely well-organized books. Way home too, we hit a church rummage sale. Unfortunately, the battery on my phone was dead, so I didn't get any pictures, but we did get a ton of items, and my car was loaded up for the trip home. Who doesn't love a road trip with a great thrifting adventure? It was so much fun, and my daughter and I really enjoy just kind of hitting the road for a day. I know it's a long way to travel, but we're making the memories and we're finding the amazing items in the thrift hall. Wait till you see all the items we got. Now I do have to tell you, normally when I set up my thrift hall, I can do like one display, but there were so many items that there are four displays. So stay tuned. Also, 
all of the big items. We're headed to my booth at Plaza Antiques and Collectibles Mall in Lincoln Park, Michigan. The smaller items will be a part of my live sale that'll be on Facebook on August 7th, 2023. You can actually shop ahead of time if you go to my website at shoptheturnedleg.com. Let's take a look at the items I found. There were just so many items to unpack and get cleaned and organized. This is the first display that I did. I am loving the vibe here. Also, please make note that many of the items for 25, 10 cents, 50 cents were also half off at one of the stores. So if you're seeing that, I couldn't remember which ones were 50% off and which ones weren't, but so many good deals here. And you know, I love a sampler even though this was new. I think one of the cool finds here was found by my daughter. She found all of this blue enamel wear. It was just being set out on the floor. Really good prices. And I love original art, especially when it's done well. This was just gorgeous. This crab was super cute. I think it was half off. There was damage that I noticed when I got home. I think I can glue him and maybe I'll just keep him for myself. I never pass up anything old that says oven proof and I also love the fall details on this picture too. More enamel wear. My daughter found this too. This has all of the parts for a cowboy coffee pot. And here is the second display, more items, 50 cents, 25 and 10, all at half off. Unfortunately, this little vase did come home with a chip. Not sure if I missed it or if it got damaged in the travels. This vase was one of those treasures that I actually had women in the store offering to buy it out of my cart. And I'm all about hand-painted art lately. Probably not old, but very trendy right now. In fact, I use this to take a whole bunch of pictures to display for my website and my social media to show off some of the items that I found. And this, I think, was a toothpick holder. I love the color on these jars. I also can't pass up candlesticks. Brass candlesticks, always a good buy. Here is the third display. I know it's the end of the season, but I couldn't pass up the lighthouse purse. I also did find something for fall coming up, this cute little apple basket. And for the price, I had to get the basket and the two tins. This is display four and the last one. So many good items from this thrift haul. I normally don't buy clear glass, but I couldn't pass up the chip and dip and this footed bowl. Both were 50 cents. I think both were half off and the holidays are coming. Also pewter candy dish, pewter always sells well. It is stamped on the bottom. And this lady was just colorful, beautiful, love the gold. So I had to pick her up too. I found both of these pictures at different thrift stores, but I really think they go together. And with the holidays, soup terrine, fabulous. It will also go with the iron stone that you will see in just a moment. When I first saw this, I had no idea what it was, but when I flipped it over and it said fuller brush, I thought I better pick it up for the price. Everyone knows the name and it's kind of cool. I think it's a lint brush. If it's not, comment down below. Let me know what it is. Another unique piece and I am a sucker if it's a box. I just love little boxes. 
I picked these up too because I also had the iron stone and the soup terrine. I think it would all go together for a nice table setting. My daughter spotted this book while she was looking through all of the books. It had a really damaged paper cover, so I got rid of it, but I really like how it looks without it. And I was surprised to find out this book is actually selling pretty well online. Remember that ironstone set that I found at the thrift store? It was a full set of eight and it was too good to pass up. So I have already purchased it and my daughter helped me put it in my booth at Plaza Antiques and Collectibles Mall in Lincoln Park, Michigan. So that is for sale along with the soup terrine too. So many items. I think it was totally worth the drive. It was definitely worth the drive to spend time with my daughter. I hope this has inspired you to get out and to shop local thrift stores in your area. Thanks so much for watching. Now get out there to salvage, repurpose, and create.